Hello everybody and welcome back to Survival Exploration 201. This week we're going to be talking a bit about instrument assisted searching. Specifically, the instruments we're going to talk about are the sensor block and the camera. The sensor block is a natural go-to for finding different types of objects in Space Engineers. It can selectively detect different types of ships, stations, asteroids, players, and trigger alarms and other actions. The problem with the sensor block is that it has a quite limited range only 50 meters in any given direction. That means, at most, a sensor block scans about a million cubic meters at a time, or about one thousandth of a cubic kilometer. For comparison, the volume in a broadcast range of a fully powered antenna is about 523,000 cubic kilometers, or about 523 million times the volume of the sensor block's maximum range. As such, it simply isn't practical to search for exploration ships with the sensor block. The other instrument we want to look at is the camera. A few patches ago, Space Engineers introduced a zoom capability on the camera. Using the mouse wheel, you can zoom the camera in quite far. The standard field of view in Space Engineers is 60 degrees from top to bottom. At maximum zoom, the field of view with the Space Engineers camera is only 5.7 degrees. That means objects at maximum zoom will be about 8.7 times wider on your screen. The practical upshot is that if you can only make out an ambiguously blurry object on your screen with regular view, you may now be able to resolve it into a meaningful shape without having to alter your course with the camera. To make out the shape of a ship with any clarity, you'll probably want to have at least one pixel per meter of the ship. At the 1280 by 720 resolution I play at, that means that I can only really make out a ship's profile at about 1100 meters without the camera zoom. With the camera zoom, I can get the same resolution at 7200 meters. For large ships and stations where I need less detail, perhaps one pixel per two and a half meters, I can easily see out to 18 kilometers. In our last session, Craig took out a camera-equipped skiff and plotted a similar course to his previous exploration. This time, he searched a similar number of asteroids in a fraction of the time, simply because he didn't need to divert to move closer to them. Instead of having to make a pass at several hundred meters to investigate a promising shape, he simply turned his camera on it. Because he could resolve objects out to nearly draw distance with considerable accuracy, there was almost never a need to change course, and Craig's search profile changed from a curving tube a couple thousand meters across to a straight cylinder 36 kilometers wide and hundreds of kilometers long. Until next week, I'm John Brewer, bringing you better gaming through applied mathematics.